Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will make a very simple and fun experiment. I will test which one is better for heating. This uh, Peltier or this uh, power resistor. Let's begin. I hope that you know this uh, dummy load from my previous video. It's a 100 watts power resistor and this is the heat sink. Now let's talk about this uh, thermo element Peltier. When you apply a current here, continuous current, one side uh, will this will transfer heat and one side will this uh, written side will be cooler and this side will be hotter as you can see in this picture when uh, we apply 150 watts to this uh, element we we can uh, obtain uh, 80 watts of cooling and 200 of uh, and 30 watts of heating. And uh, it's a very simple uh, formula. You can see that uh, efficiency for uh, cooling it's uh, 50 percent and efficiency for heating it's 150 percent now in this experiment i will test this it's uh, 8 ohm uh, power resistor in this simple experiment i will test which one gives more heat this 100 watts uh, resistor on this 100 watts uh, Peltier. For this, I will use uh, these identical two boxes. I will put this between two heat sinks. I will use this double thermometer and this. Uh, now let's begin because the resistance of these two elements is different i will use two power supply with different different voltage and current but uh, the same power i mounted this uh, two cooler on each side and now let's make our first test. We'll use uh, 15 volts and 3 amps. I can uh, feel this is cooler and this is hotter. Let's put more amps. Let's put the thermometer. You can see the difference of uh, temperature. One is increasing and this one is decreasing. Now this is too hot. I have to start this uh, cooler. Now let's put everything in the box. Let's start with 30 watts. Let's put 40 watts. Now let's turn this off. Now 
this first one it's already now let's put the second one I forgot to, to put the second temperature sensor I will put the second sensor Now let's test the second one. It's working because this is cooler and inside it's warm. Exactly. Now I will put the uh, voltage on this uh, cooler. Now we are ready to start the experiment. The temperature is almost the same. This one is for the left and this one is for the right. Let's start the resistor first no that's the LTR let's start the resistor first let's start with 30 watts So 30 watts on the resistor. And now let's start. As you can see, it starts to heat. Now let's start the Paltier. Let's start the cooler. This is the cooler for Peltier. And now let's put the same power. Peltier is 30, let's put 40 watts. So 35 watts on a Peltier. And now let's put 35 watts on a resistor. So 35 watts power com consumption on each one. Now let's start. As you can see, the Peltier is hotter. Let's see what happens in few minutes. After five minutes, you can see there are uh, six degrees difference between left and right. Let's wait another five minutes. Now there are 10 minutes and I had to change uh, 
the power from 35 watts to 30 watts now as you can see this one it's 30 degrees and this one it's uh, 29 degrees it's a small difference let's see what happens after five minutes now there are 15 minutes from the beginning and it's the same temperature in uh, it's 30 t 33 degrees in left and in right let's see what happens after more five minutes now there are 20 minutes uh, from the beginning and i had to put another cooler another fan on the cool side because when the temperature difference increase then uh, efficiency of Peltier decreases now after 20 minutes there are 36 degrees uh, on the resistor side and 32 degrees on the Peltier side let's see what happens after more five minutes now there are 25 minutes from the beginning there is no point to continue this experiment because this one it's 37 degrees and here it's only 27 degrees after i put this cooler temperature decreases instead of increases let's see what happen if i take down the second cooler after i took down the second cooler Pel peltier box uh, begin to increase rapidly the temperature now the temperature increases very quickly now i will stop this experiment because i realized that i made a mistake and uh, I will show you when I connected uh, this together this made a thermic short circuit you can see these metal springs and now I will have to find uh, this one it's very 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 hot now let's see this one it's also very very hot I have to make this again and this should not have a direct contact now I will repeat the experiment for the third time because the second time the speed of the fan of the Peltier was too small and overheated now let's start the temperature is the same 40 degrees 40 degrees let's start we'll use 20 watts now let's start the cooler and reset the timer
after one minute there are three degrees difference this one is hotter Peltier is hotter with three degrees let's see what happens next after two minutes there are five degrees difference after three minutes there are seven degrees difference after four minutes there are eight degrees difference after five minutes there are nine degrees difference after seven minutes there are eight degrees difference after eight minutes there are uh, eight degrees difference after nine minutes there are seven degrees difference after ten minutes there are still seven degrees six degrees difference after 15 minutes there are only four degrees difference after 16 minutes there are only three degrees difference after 20 minutes there are only one degrees difference in the end of the video you will find a chart with uh, time and temperature on each side now in the end let's draw the conclusions i uh, succeed to prove that uh, peltier heating is more e efficient than classical heating than transforming the current into heat directly the difference was not uh, the same because this uh, Peltier because this Peltier has not the same efficiency for different uh, temperature inside and outside the maximum temperature from inside and outside it's constant approximately 25 degrees Peltier cannot manage more than 25 degrees difference from cool side and uh, heated, heated side, side but the classical resistor has a constant efficiency and it's the same that's why you see that uh, classical resistor has a linear uh, increasing but Peltier was uh, parabolic in increase was not constant because uh, these uh, conditions are not uh, perfectly ideal for this experiment please uh, tell me in a, com in a comment what you think about this experiment if you made something like this if you want to use uh, Peltier for heating thanks for watching see you in my next video bye